Hey guys, what's up? It's Melkazonki, and welcome to a new series. So this is just going to be the introduction video of the series, and um, I'm doing probably something pretty foolhardy, and I don't know if the series will ever be completed. Just a disclaimer, this series may or may not be completed. It is a huge goal that I'm setting for myself, but it really depends on, I guess, just how much time I have to play this game, because I don't know how the near future is going to play out for me um, with college possibly coming up and all that other stuff, so I don't know how much I'll be able to play and stuff, so I can't say for certain, but I just wanted to start this series to, I guess, give me a bit of motivation and keep doing something that I have been doing that is really cool and very profitable. So, going into the bank, you'll already know what the series is if you've seen the title of the video, so I guess there's not much to ruin here, but I want to be going for a one bill Slayer tab. So this is my Slayer tab at the moment. It is worth quite a bit. I will be price checking the entire thing. And I can say for certain it's already worth over 100 mil, so it's going to be worth fairly substantial. Everything in here is from Slayer. I had a few drops that were like from Nex and stuff, but I just sold them, so I can guarantee that everything in here is from Slayer. Even these Gloves of Subjugation, I got them while doing a task um, of Greater Demons at Zamorak. And the Armado Gloves, I got them while doing an AVNC's task at Armado. And all the DK's drops, of course, I've been getting a lot of Dagonoth tasks lately, and if you guys know me, you know what that means. So anyway, I'm going to start with drawing stuff. Um, I won't pain you guys with with drawing stuff, but I'm just going to show um, piece by piece. I'm going to price check everything in here and then just add it all up, and we'll see how much it totals to. So as always, I'm going to be saving the best for last, so I'm just going to start with kind of the crappy drops first, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, again, I'll be price checking everything in here. So here is the first inventory, and uh, yeah, let's get price checking. Now, I do pick up a lot of stuff, a lot of drops that I would say most people wouldn't pick up. Like, for example, these toad flax seeds and polypore spores and stuff like that. So you are going to see a lot of stuff um, in my tab, probably about half the tab, that most people that do Slayer don't pick up. But at the same time, I make a lot more money through Slayer than most people, partly because of the bossing that I do and partly just because I pick up so much stuff. Like, Felstock seeds, no one would ever pick those up that does Slayer. Toad flax seeds, probably not. Like, War Gollies, they're worth nothing, so most people probably don't pick those up. Um, even cadentine seeds, like no one really picks those up. But as you can see, like that's 112k worth of cadentine seeds. It's 50k worth of felstock seeds. That's 73k worth of toad flax seeds. Um, so that's like all that is just money that other people don't make from Slayer and I do. So the first inventory is worth 6.3 mil. So I'll mark that down. All right, second inventory here. Seen more stuff that most people probably don't pick up, like slat flax. You know, that's worth a good 50k, and it barely took me any effort to pick that up. Like adamant bolts. Another 63k that probably most people wouldn't pick up. I should probably start stop going over that now. But um, the second inventory is worth 8.1 mil, mostly junk items too, or what most people would consider to be junk items. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Just from a whole bunch of random junk items, I've gained 8.1 mil. That added up to a lot more than I thought it would. All right, third inventory here, getting into the slightly juicier stuff. Um, I know those black dragon hides are worth a lot of money. Uh, those dwarf weed seeds are worth quite a bit as well, as well as the lantidime seeds. Oh, my goodness. And then I have some, like, rune items here and stuff. And these royal dragon hides, those are actually from Grot Worms, not from QBD. But I am planning on doing QBD in the future for a black dragon task, so that should make me some absolute bank. Pretty excited about that, I must say. All right, third inventory here, and that's 13 mil, um, just over 13 mil a little bit. I got a couple rare drops in here, like Big Bones, I believe that was a rare drop. Swordfish, that's a rare drop. So some kind of weird, odd items in this uh, in this tab. But again, I mean, some of the stuff that you pick up just adds up, like Crush Ness. You might be thinking, oh, they're worth crap. There's no point in picking them up. But I've made 300k off that, so that, yeah, and like Rune Javelins too, these things do actually sell for some weird reason, so that's like 200k for, worth of Rune Javelins, and they will sell for 200k. I've sold Rune Javelins plenty of times in the EOC for some odd, strange reason they sell. I don't know why. Maybe they have a decent knock price, who knows. But um, anyway, yeah, 13 mil in this inventory. All right, next inventory here, uh, and the last one is going to be the big one, obviously, but this one has some really nice items in it, 23 mil from this inventory. Obviously, all those Ascension keys are worth quite a bit. I've had quite a few Ascension tasks. Um, I have this item, the Serenic Scale, I got from Dark Beasts. Um, I know it's worth like 3 mil, not 1.5, but oh well. Um, and these like clean Dwarf Weeds and clean Lantidimes, they're worth a ton, obviously, too. Um, 
I know Zamrak drops a ton of like noted Lantadimes, and Armadillo drops a ton of noted dwarf weeds. So that's kind of where I got most of those. Uh, that's pretty nice. And in here, I also have some like crappy stuff too, like mud battle staffs. Such a troll. I hate getting that drop at DKs because they're worth almost nothing. Um, and then yeah, like one crystal key. I don't actually put my crystal keys together because OCD does not allow me to. Um, but uh, Criara actually drops full crystal keys, so that's uh, how I got that. And thank you to TaffyDog7, who just randomly came up to me while making this video and decided to give me 100k. So yeah, thank you to him. That was a bit random, but hey, you know, we'll take it. Alright, so this is the last inventory, and it's obviously the big one. Um, so I got my Armadillo gloves in here, that's worth quite a bit. The gloves of subjugation, I have almost 12 million worth in dragon bones. Super awesome. All those blue dragon tasks and metal dragon tasks really help a lot. Almost 10 million worth of infernal ashes. Um, that's worth a ton. Like 7 million worth of Dagonoth bones because I have had like 4 or 5 uh, Dagonoth tasks and I obviously bank all the bones. So that's awesome. And like 20 mil worth of D hatchets. How cool is that? I'm pretty stoked about that. But anyway, it's time to uh, ring it all up and see what the total value is. So if my calculator serves me correctly, that's 133 mil. As you can see, I uh, added up all the uh, drops that I got together, all the different price checks, and I got 133 mil. And this is all from Slayer. You got to keep that in mind. So that is a ton of money that I made just from Slayer. Um, it's obviously because I've been doing like Dagonoth Kings. That's probably at least 40 mil. Actually, I believe it is 40 mil that I earned from Dagonoth King, so that obviously adds a ton to the Slayer tab. And then, like, those Armadillo gloves, that's a nice little addition to the Slayer tab as well. So, PVMing a bit definitely helps through Slayer, but anyway, um, I'm excited for this series. If I get any, like, really good drops, for example, if I'm doing a Dagonoth task and I get a Dagon so a drop from DKs, or if I do, like, an Arma or um, Zami task and get a drop from them, uh, I'll take screenshots and, like, show them, and that will be the series. Or if I reach any milestones, such as um, if you look at my Slayer XP, there might be a big milestone coming up very, very soon, if you know what I mean. That's, yeah, that's going to happen in just a little bit. But anyway, uh, that's going to be about all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. This is just the first episode, so I don't have any clips yet. But yeah, I'm excited. Um, hopefully, I'll reach one bill from PVM, I don't, or from Slayer. I don't know if I will. Um, obviously, very, 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 very few people have ever done it. It's kind of a rare accomplishment. Most people that make one bill either diced or PVM'd for it. So people that can say they slayed for a bill, um, not a very common thing. But anyway, thank you to TaffyDog7. You're in a video, so get hyped. And I am out. Peace.